we're coming to the top of the hour of 12 noon here on sunny 107.9 WFBS LPFM Salem and Lake Kiwi Radio Online at LakeKiwiRadioOnline.com here in Seneca. Good afternoon or good uh, remainder of the, of the morning, what's left of it, as uh, we're back here with you checking in with all sorts of great information and getting you updated well, first of all, I want to go ahead and jump in on road conditions. That seems to be the big question right now all over social media. How are the roads? And uh, I left out of here, the, the studio here, and rode around town. I had to go up to the 1079 studios. There is a lot of frozen stuff, slush, and other things that's making driving Uh, particularly hazardous, at least in the Seneca area. The street department, uh, Ernie Beck and his crew, along with Donnie Big and White, they're working hard to keep uh, the streets cleaned around the city of Seneca. But I can also tell you that it appears Highway 11 northward. Uh, Anywhere down Highway 11 is where you're going to find most of the worst of the road conditions, particularly 107, 28, and 130 uh, above Highway 11. Uh, those roads are really, really bad. Now, some of the other roads still are slick, and uh, if you've got a four-wheel drive vehicle, just go very, very slow. But if uh, pretty much so, if you don't have to be out, don't be out at all. Uh, it is that bad uh, as far as the road conditions. And here's a couple of things that we're watching. Uh, we have more snow on the way right now here at our studios. We still have some sleet. It has been sleeting and or snowing, freezing rain for the good portion of the morning, and it is still uh, coming down. So just just keep that in mind that the roads are going to refreeze tonight and then tomorrow they may um, uh, unthaw just a bit. They're not going to be totally gone away, but here comes the problem for Monday night. Uh, the good news is there's no school tomorrow in Oconee County, so that's not going to be an issue. But uh, come Tuesday morning, the travel conditions could get quite treacherous with nothing but black ice with temperatures projected to uh, be into the around the low 20s. Anyway, for the latest update on closings, uh, check out uh, our website, Facebook, I should say. We've got everything there that you need to know. All Most of the church services have all canceled uh, around the golden corner here. And if uh, you know if you go to church, you'll know which church, if yours is uh, canceled for uh, to this evening or any afternoon. We can tell you some businesses. We do know that uh, Borg Warner has no morning shift. Jansen and Seneca has closed for today. Uh, Perry uh, uh, Ellis International at Seneca has canceled its Sunday work shift. U.S. Engine Val has no first shift this morning. Clemson University main campus and upstate campus has been closed. Uh, that's just for today. And uh, also, too, um, since it's a holiday tomorrow, the Martin Luther King Day, uh, a lot of the governments, uh, county government, city government, and state government, too, I believe, is closed, also federal. So it kind of worked out well for uh, this snow and this ice and all the sorts of uh, 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 n- nasty stuff. So there you go. Uh, Donnie checks in, says the point is pretty. Yeah, it's kind of pretty around here, Donnie. Uh, I have to admit the white snow is uh, nice and the ice too, but uh, there's a lot of folks right now without power. We'll say good afternoon to uh, Heather checking in. Thank you so much for being a part of our update. And also, too, I want to say hello to uh, Miss Emily. She's uh, watching the broadcast this morning. Let's, uh, uh, this afternoon now, let's go ahead now and jump into power outages. Uh, at the height here, Blue Ridge Electric had been reporting uh, something closer to around 12,000 out. That number has come down just a bit. They're under right now 10,997. So we had reached around 12,000 with the peak of the majority of it coming uh, this morning, uh, roughly at around 9 a.m., we saw the height of it, and it has come down just a bit. Not much, but it has come down uh, some. So uh, right now, out of the 68,000 on the Blue Ridge system, uh, 10,997. That's taking into account everything from Greenville, Oconee, Pickens, and Anderson counties. Heavy concentration of power outages happens along and north of Highway 130. Of course, there's a lot of sporadic outages around the county in Oconee. Uh, and uh, from one to two or maybe three or four, but the majority of them, uh, Oakway community is affected. Also, um, over towards uh, uh, Tacoa Highway, uh, heading towards Tacoa, you'll see a lot of power outages there. And also, too, around Tomasi, uh, Joe Cassie Ridge, the town of Salem, um, Choi Valley, 
a good amount of customers are out of power right in there. And I also see picket posts, of course, we mentioned earlier in the broadcast that uh, we're seeing power power outages there. So good news is the power is coming down a little bit, so hopefully the crews can get in there and work. Uh, of course, the windy condition is making that a little bit more difficult with the uh, having to use bucket trucks to get up in those, and you just can't use those with high wind. And uh, we do have uh, some winds uh, still taking place here in the Golden Corner. All right, let's see what else we've got for you. We've talked about the Blue Ridge side of things. Let's go ahead now and let's check in with uh, Duke Energy and we'll find out about the power outages in Duke Energy. Uh, first of all, it was up to over 7,000 uh, without power here, basically in the upstate that were on the Duke Energy. That number has climbed now to roughly 23,000, and that's basically Greenville, Spartanburg, Oconee, Anderson, and parts of Pickens Counties. In Oconee, it's roughly around 8,000 out of power. Uh, check that, 4,000 out of power. It's 4,000 out of power most of that is along a line from Lake Kiwi over towards Wahala and going up 28 uh, just above Wahala. Those folks are out with outage, with power outage. Fairview, Ebenezer, and the lake area, Knox Road, Ellenberg Road, around the lake, you're out of power just next to Kiwi Key. Going back uh, down 183, there's a power outage there. Just off Stamp Creek Road going towards Salem, there's a power outage. And right now there's 430 on Joe Cassie Lake Road going up to Devil's Fork State Park. Uh, that's out of power. And then across the lake over at Cedar Creek and Mile 12 Mile or Mile Creek Landing, I should say, uh, that whole line of power is out around the lake. So uh, Duke Energy is working hard. Power that was earlier out around the Neary area, it has been restored. Uh, and the old Clemson Highway here, the Seneca area, there's only about seven still left, and those are on Kiwi Lakeshore Drive, and that is on the blue, or the Duke Power System, Duke Energy there. So that's a little bit better news. So the, like I said, the crews are working hard to get the power back on. Let's take a look at uh, traffic uh, road uh, accidents right now in Oconee County, I-85 at the uh, second or two-mile northbound. Uh, there is a traffic accident. Actually, it's an assist motorist uh, on the interstate. Of course, the interstates are uh, moving, but awful, moving awful slow because of the ice and uh, sleet and uh, snow that's packed on Interstate 85 right now. Other areas around Oconee County, we're checking right now. There is a collision, no injuries at Seneca Creek and Pawpaw Drive. And those are the two accidents right now that uh working on right now around oconee county so uh good news there in the travels folks are heeding the warn to stay home uh bo says that was a vehicle fire i have nothing more on it other than that so bo thanks for the update on that uh, that's happening there off 85 at uh the northbound at the two mile marker there off of 85 so a lot of uh, traffic problems all across the state, South Carolina, not just here in Oconee, but Greenville County is reporting accident problems, Pickens County also in Spartanburg. And again, as we mentioned, if you don't have to travel, don't. Stay home, listen to the radio, listen, to watch a good movie with the family, and uh, do the best you can. Of course, a lot of folks are having power. And again, the generators, they're a mighty great thing, but don't bring your generator inside. Okay, you don't want to run your generator inside or in your garage either. Have it in a well-ventilated place. Crank it up. Make sure you're uh, properly maintain it. Check the oil and the gas and all sorts of good stuff. And uh, anyway, uh, do that for everybody else. Let's see what we got. Uh, Steve, Steve Turner checks in. Get that drone out. We need aerial photos. Unfortunately, it is not in a, uh, well, I don't know. It has actually lightened up a bit out there. I'll check in a few moments. I'd like to get the drone up and get some pictures. I'll do that. I'll check on that shortly. Let's see here. Timothy Elrod, good afternoon to you. Love the show, the snow, but the wind can go. Makes it hard to enjoy. You're exactly right. And uh, you're correct, Heather. I can't. My driveway is a sheet of ice. And absolutely, that's what we're seeing around. So DOT crews are working around the clock with uh, scheduled shifts now for most of the state roads working hard to keep those clear. And, uh, again, we've got reports of trees down all around the county, trees down. We've got uh, road conditions, ice, and so much more. So, again, use travel, use caution, and if you don't have to be out, just keep it right here. We'll keep you up to date. So let's get you updated. Here is the latest weather forecast from the National Weather Service. We've got more snow moving in. 
Temperatures, that's it. 32 for the high, and right now we ain't even near 32. We're at a very balmy 29 degrees right now. And a breezy, the winds seem to be dying down just a bit. There still could be a possibility of some gust up to 37 miles per hour, 40. But right now, winds are here. It's not too bad. It's not too windy here at our uh, studios here at Madison Point. Uh, total daytime snow accumulation now 2 to 4 inches. Just depends on where you're at if you receive that. A, a chance of snow tonight before uh, 10 p.m. And then uh, continue with a little bit of breezy conditions. Tonight, uh, temperatures dropping around 28 degrees. Coming up on Martin Luther King Day, we're looking for sunny skies with high near 41 and breezy once again. But here comes the problems for Monday night. It travels mostly clear, low around 22 for Tuesday, warming up just a little, 45 for the high. But it gets cold once again for Tuesday night, partly cloudy, low around 27. And, uh, folks, that's basically the way it's um, that's shaping up now. There is a, another chance, a very slim chance, of some snow that you may see coming up uh, Friday and Friday night. We'll keep our eyes posted on that because the temperatures are supposed to be back around in the um, 36 for the high on Friday with low around 21 coming up on Friday night. But we will uh, we'll just have to keep our eyes and watch that one. There is, of course, the winter storm warning continuing now until 8 a.m. Monday. That's now until 8 a.m. Monday. Uh, we are under continuing that winter storm warning and again, it just depends on where you're at, what you're going to see. Radar, of course, is still indicating we've got uh, some sleet. We've got a mixture of a little bit of freezing rain. We have some snow in there. And as the afternoon progresses, we're expecting that snow to pick back up. So that could add, add to our totals of what we have uh, here uh, right now. Here at our studios, we've got about uh, three and a half inches. And that top layer, I would say, is about maybe a tenth of an inch of ice. And it's been sleeting off and on since about 8 a.m. this morning. Um, you know, we still have power here. Everything seems to be fine. Uh, for the folks listening over the air at 107.9 WFBS, we are operating uh, at a very reduced power. We have a uh, condition at the top called uh, antenna ice over. What happens when we have freezing rain and ice, it uh, forms on the antenna and it causes a reduction in power and what we call a stand-in wave ratio. It's an issue where there's a mismatch between the transmitter and the antenna. That is happening at our transmitter site uh, right now, and there's not much we can do unless, you know, you want to fly up there with a hair dryer and defrost it, and uh, you're on your own because I'm not coming up there. But anyway, that is our latest update. We will have probably another update for you at 5 p.m. this evening. Again, road conditions. Here is the deal. Road conditions, wherever you travel, you're going to encounter a lot of slick spots. A lot of slick spots. And again, just if you don't have to travel, don't. Uh, I know that emergency personnel from Oconee County are out uh, traveling the county, assisting everyone with from trees down. Uh, across uh, roadways, the power companies are cutting up trees, uh, falling on power lines. It's just uh, one of those things that we get this every once in a while, and uh, it was our turn to receive the ice and other stuff that uh, goes along with it. So anyway, uh, that's the update. Don't be traveling. Um, I can uh, tell you that road conditions in other parts of the upstate are about the same here, but it just, again, it from the Highway 11 from Exit 1 all the way up to the county line over in Pickens, the northern section of this county right now uh, is pretty much impassable. Uh, it's just a mess right now with the power outages and also the ice and the snow and all the other stuff that's on the roads. Again, it's not worth it. Don't do it if you don't have to. It's just not worth it. So, all right, there you go. There is the latest update uh, from here at 107.9 WFBS and Lake Kiwi Radio Online. Again, we will break in if we need to to bring you the latest updated information. We will have an update on closings uh, or cancellations of businesses by 5 p.m. That will be posted to our Facebook, uh, both stations Facebook. So if you want that, we'll have that for you coming up. Heather, to answer your question, how is Anderson County? It's pretty much about the same. They uh, didn't get quite as much as we've got, but in certain areas, it is still slick, and travel is just its not advised right now. So if you've got to make a trip to Anderson County, you're going to encounter the same road conditions down that way and uh, all sorts of other things. Uh, the latest update was, let me see if I can find it real quick, as far as that power outages uh, were a lot more. They were, they were more at Anderson County. Uh, looking at about 4,000, it's about the same in Oconee. 
uh, about 4,000 out of power, and uh, they're having the same issues with the uh, the roads and uh, other things around. But as you go closer south or move further south from Anderson, things not near as bad. It is still slick on some of the roadways, but uh, it's just not as bad as it is like around in here. It seems like we took the direct brunt of the ice and the snow. So anyway, I hope that answers your question. But uh, if you don't have to be out, don't. Stay home. Enjoy great music right here with us. And again, we will come back at 5 p.m. this evening with another update. Right now, we're um, all total more than 30,000 people in the upstate uh, or have experienced power outages. That's being recorded or reported by the Associated Press right now. We're following those uh, good folks, following along for that. All right, we're going to get you back to music and a whole lot more fun. So stick around, stay tuned. We'll come back and get you updated if need be. Uh, anytime it breaks out, we'll break in and let you know right here on Sunny 107.9 WFBS and Lake Kiwi Radio Online. Coming up, more beach music and Charlie Brown on 107.9 WFBS. Coming up on Lake Kiwi Radio Online, we will join uh, Totally Awesome 80s with Kent Jones. Folks, we'll see you again uh, coming up here at 5 p.m. this evening. Have a great afternoon and be safe. <laughs> 